Next, let us turn our attention to volume. Volume is the amount of space contained within a three-dimensional figure and is measured in cubic units. For example, a cubic unit, such as a cubic inch, is the size of a cube that measures one inch on each edge. A cubic centimeter is the volume of a cube whose length, width, and height are each one centimeter. Therefore, to find the volume means to find the number of cubic units contained in the solid. The volume of a rectangular right prism can be measured by determining how many cubes are needed to fill it. One way is to count how many cubes cover the base and then count how many layers of these cubes are used to reach the height of the prism. Let's take a look at this prism. It takes 10 times 10, or 100 cubes, to make one layer that will cover the base and 10 layers to completely fill the solid, or 10 times 10 times 10, or 1,000 cubes to fill the solid. Thus, the volume of a right rectangular prism can be found by multiplying the length times the width times the height of the prism. Notice that length times width is the area of the base of the prism. Therefore, using capital B to represent the area of the base, we can write the formula for the volume of a right rectangular prism as V is equal capital B times H. In fact, the same formula holds for any three-dimensional figure if all cross-sections parallel to the base are congruent to the base. Thus, the formula for the volume of all right prisms and right circular cylinders is V is equal to capital B times H, where capital B is the area of the base and H is the height. Now let's consider the volume of right pyramids and cones. How will the volume of this right square pyramid compare to the volume of this right rectangular prism if their bases are congruent and their heights are the same? If I fill this prism with sand and then pour the sand into the prism, we can see that the sand fills only about a third of the volume of the prism. If we repeat the procedure again with a pyramid and a prism having congruent bases and altitudes but different sizes from the first set, we will obtain the same results. This is not coincidence. The formula for the volume of a pyramid is V is equal to one-third times the area of the base times the height. Following a similar procedure, using a right circular cone and a cylinder with congruent bases in the same height, we see again that the amount of sand that will fill the cone will fill only one-third the volume of the cylinder. This illustrates that the volume of a cone can also be found by multiplying one-third times the area of the base times the height. Because it is not easily shown how the formula for the volume of a sphere can be developed, we will accept that the formula for the volume of a sphere is 4 thirds times pi times the radius cubed. Now let us look at some examples where we will calculate the volumes of various solids. Example 1. Find the volume of a hexagonal prism with the area of the base equal to 16 meters squared and a height of 5 and 2 tenths meters. Since we have a prism, we will use the formula V is equal to capital B times H, where capital B is the area of the base and H is the height. We are given that the area of the base is 16 meters squared and the height is 5 and 2 tenths meters. Substituting these values into the formula and solving, we find the volume of this hexagonal prism is 83 and 2 tenths cubic meters. Example 2. Find the volume of a circular cylinder with radius of 7 feet and a height of 5 feet. The formula for the volume of a circular cylinder is V is equal to capital B times H, where capital B is the area of the base and H is the height. The base of this cylinder is a circle. Therefore, we must calculate the area of the circle before we can proceed. The area of a circle can be calculated using the formula A is equal to pi r squared. Substituting 7 for r and using 22 sevenths for pi, we find that the area of the circle is 154 square feet. Now we are ready to use the volume formula. Substituting 154 for capital B and 5 for h, we can solve the equation and find that the volume of the cylinder is 770 cubic feet. Example 3. 
What is the volume of a rectangular pyramid whose base measures 6 meters by 4 meters and whose altitude is 9 meters? To calculate the volume of a pyramid, we will use the formula V is equal to 1 third times capital B times H, where capital B is the area of the base and H is the height. Before we use this formula, we must find the area of the base. To calculate the area of a rectangle, we will multiply the length by the width, which gives us 24 square meters. Now substituting 24 for the area of the base and 9 for the height, we have V is equal to 1 third times 24 times 9. The volume of the rectangular pyramid is 72 cubic meters. Example 4. A spherical water tank has an inside diameter of 36 feet. Determine the volume of water that the tank will hold. Because the formula for the volume of a sphere, V is equal to 4 thirds times pi times r cubed, is given in terms of the radius of the sphere, the first step is to find the length of the radius of the sphere. Remember that the radius of a sphere is one half the diameter of the sphere. Therefore, the radius must be one half of 36, which is 18 feet. Now we are ready to calculate the volume. Using 3 and 14 hundredths as the approximation for pi and substituting 18 for r, we have the equation v is equal to 4 thirds times 3 and 14 hundredths times 18 cubed. Solving for v, we find that the volume of water held by the spherical tank is 24,000 416 and 64 hundredths cubic feet. Example 5. Find the volume of this figure. We can think of this figure as being a cylinder with a smaller cylinder removed from the center. Thus we must calculate the volumes of the two cylinders and then subtract the volume of the smaller from the volume of the larger. The formula for the volume of a cylinder is V is equal to capital B times H where capital B is the area of the base and H is the height. The volume of the larger cylinder, which we will call V sub L, will be 3 and 14 hundredths times 4 and 5 tenths squared times 3, or 190 and 755 thousandths cubic inches. The volume of the smaller cylinder, which we will call V sub S, will be 3 and 14 hundredths times 5 tenths squared times 3, or 2 and 355 thousandths cubic inches. Now that we know the volumes of the two cylinders, subtract V sub S from V sub L, and this will give us the volume of the figure. Thus we have 190 and 755 thousandths minus 2 and 355 thousandths, which equals 188 and 4 tenths cubic inches.